What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm sitting in the engine bay of our 1982 DeLorean DMC-12 project car for the channel, our very first project. If you haven't seen the uh, first episode where we debut this bad boy, just click in the link in the description below and give it a watch and come right back to where we are now. So as you can see, this thing is all stripped out. It's ready for a new power plant. But I just wanna show you guys real quick how we got this thing down to where it is now and what engine we're about to throw in this engine bay, other than me just sitting here. So we got the rear bumper off and we found this little gem. This is literally a foam piece of like a rear bash bar from something and someone just ripped the corners off and just stuck it right there to lift the rear bumper. Now the rear end of the DeLoreans, this fascia that we took off is all urethane. So what would happen back in the day, the sun used to beat down on this and it would just sag after a couple of years. Well, I think this one actually lived outside for quite a while because the rear bumper was sagging just a little bit. So somebody decided to stick this in here to try to save it from sagging anymore. Beneath the rear fascia, you have this fiberglass rear subframe piece that actually holds everything on. So what we have to do now is we're gonna remove the rear latch mechanism. There's two 14 millimeter screws that take this off and then we can take the rear bumper off exposing the engine. We're gonna take the rear quarter panels off too, just for good measure, because we know that we gotta do some work on those and be able to get the rear engine bay fully exposed and in order to do all the work that we're gonna be doing with this thing. So we're gonna keep going, tearing this thing down and getting it ready because we're gonna pull this motor out next. All right, so this is the PRV engine. This is a Peugeot, Volvo, Renault. This was a conglomerate of the three companies to create this power plant for the DeLorean DMC-12. As you can see, it's got a K-Tronic fuel injection system. This is mechanical. This was top of the line back in the day for what you had. So this is your actual injector body. It's almost like a diesel. And you had lines going down to these individual injectors down here that were completely mechanical. So this is all run off of the internals of the engine. There's no like electronic servos or there's no fuel injectors or anything like that. And then what you have over here is an actual cold start injector, which is fired fuel right into the intake manifold to get the thing fired up. Now the problem with these setups is when with modern fuel, they clog up like crazy. You have all these little tiny holes and everything like that. And if you're not driving the car every day, this thing turns into a nightmare. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be removing the factory wiring harness. We're gonna be removing the rest of the exhaust system and also getting all of these hoses, getting the firewall all cleaned up and getting everything out of the way so that we can get this engine out, start degreasing everything that we need to and get it ready for our new engine. All right, as you can see, we got the whole back end of the car completely tore down. Liam went ahead and pulled the rear quarters off too so we can get into the engine bay from both sides because we're gonna end up modifying this deck lid the rear window access to come out. I don't know who did this, but the weather stripping is completely shot. So they filled it with like five gallons of caulking. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and pull the accessories off the engine. We're gonna pull the fuel system and anything that we could salvage and give back to the community because we're not looking to throw anything away. People still need this stuff. So we're gonna do all that and then we're gonna go ahead and yank this motor out. All right, so for our engine, for our project DeLorean, we are going to be running a 5.3 aluminum LS based V8 from Chevrolet. This motor is brand new from ATK High Performance Engines. It makes 475 horsepower and 430 foot pounds of torque. It's got nine, nine to one compression ratio with just nice flat top pistons. And it's got a very mild comp cam in it. I didn't want a really severe chop with this car because it's not a Camaro. It's not some sort of muscle car. It's actually gonna have a full titanium exhaust from Vibrant that we're gonna do in a later episode. I really wanted to have an exotic sound to it. That's why I went with the individual throttle bodies and we're gonna do something really, really spicy for the headers as well. This engine should produce more than enough horsepower that we need to get this car down the road since the DeLoreans came factory with a measly 130 horsepower. All right, well, no engine's complete without accessories. So we turn to ICT Billet to help us out with very tight and compact packaging. 
So what we have here is a variety of takeoff or brand new Chevrolet parts, like our Corvette um, underdrive pulley, Corvette water pump, um, AC Delco alternator, as well as all of the ICT billet custom brackets. Now, we're not sponsored by them. I have used them in the past on their projects like the wide body car. They just make it really easy for you guys to put pretty much a small block Chevy into everything. We also have a new air compressor and all of the pulleys that will go along with the system. This will be a two belt system. One will be for the um, water pump and alternator and one belt will be designated for the AC. We're also going to be doing something really cool that I'm really excited about, which is running individual throttle bodies on this car, just like we did with the wide body car. Now, in order to run them, in order to have some plenums that I wanted, we turned to JC from JC Customs. He's a local CNC guy that's a really good friend of mine as well and built all my CNC parts. And we custom designed this backing plate that's actually going to go on the individual throttle bodies like that. And we're going to have um, my buddy from Tyler from Fortune Auto Design build carbon fiber plenums for this thing. So it's going to look really cool under the back of the car. All right, guys, so for the swap, we're going to be using a G96 Porsche six-speed gearbox out of a 911 from the early 2000s. These boxes are super robust. They shift beautifully. Unlike the DeLorean transmission, which is like notchy, it feels like a tractor. This is very modern and it's smooth and it shifts just like a modern car. Now, that being said, DeLoreans are only five speed. This is a six speed. This is also gonna be better on the highway. And it's also gonna keep the car in its power band a lot more where it needs to be. We also have a 650 horsepower rated clutch that we're putting in the car. Even though it's not turbocharged, we still wanna make sure that this thing can take all the abuse we can throw at it. And last but not least, we have this sweet billet adapter plate from Kennedy Engineering, which is gonna allow us to mate our Porsche G96 gearbox up to our Chevy LS1 V8. Well, 5.2 years V8, but it's all LS1, right? All right? Let's get back to it. All right guys, Liam's been busting his butt getting the accessory drives on our 5.3 LS crate motor for our DeLorean project. As you can see, we have our water pump on, our AC compressor, underdrive pulley, our alternator, and we have the start of our ITB setup with this intake manifold. We're gonna be doing some polishing to this to make it look a little nicer when it's in the actual engine bay. But for right now, we have pretty much everything we need in order to be in the engine bay and have everything kind of in our way when we go to do the exhaust system and fab the cooling system and all that jazz. So coming over to the back of the car, we have some reinforcement plates that Liam's been whipping up in order to make our new motor mounts for the actual LS. There are kits out there that are direct bolt-in with DeLorean, but in order to get the placement of the engine exactly where we want and get it to the optimal height in the engine bay and as far forward as we can, we've decided we're gonna completely start from scratch and make something completely new. So we've made a complete reinforcement area for our K member we have all our chromoly tubing in here to put all the strength back in, into the back of the cross member. We're actually planning on putting more reinforcement back here around the actual axle shafts to stop this back section from flexing because this whole entire chassis is made of sheet metal. So it's really, really flimsy and that's like one of the biggest concerns that I have about putting 600 horsepower with the rear wheels in this car. So we're gonna address that. So these plates are gonna get tacked in now. Then we're gonna be able to mate the transmission and the engine together get it in here and start making our motor mounts. the motor up on the cherry picker and as you can see we're using this contraption here which is called a load leveler this is going to help us get the engine and transmission in at once in the back of the DeLorean but the benefit to this is going to let us get it in there completely flat so on the wide body car I actually installed it with a load leveler, leveler the first time and I was able to just kind of let it hover inside the engine bay while we figured out how we're going to actually get it to sit still the cool thing about the LS and especially this setup 
We have a completely flat oil pan underneath, so it's gonna be able to cradle on the actual K member. We'll just put some wood shims in there. But before we get to all that, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. We're gonna go ahead and throw on our adapter plate. As you can see, it just slides right into the factory um, transmission holes. Yeah, it goes this way. Just like that. And this adapter plate's really cool too because you can use the original LS um, style starter. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt this on the block, lower the engine down, get the transmission bolted on, and get this thing in the DeLorean. We got the 996 Porsche gearbox mated to our LS, our 5.3 LS, with our adapter plate. Everything's ready to go. We made some extra modifications. There's a little snout back here that actually goes to the all-wheel drive system for the Carrera, which would be same gearbox, same get track, but they have a little snout coming out of here. So we lopped this off, gave us about a half inch. So I'll be able to, I'm hoping that the engine and training will be able to slide back that much further in the inch of the DeLorean. Because on the wide body car, we had a little bit too much room between the firewall and the engine. So I'm hoping that solved solve that issue. Other than that, we're ready to go. We're going to throw this thing in the car now and see what it looks like. Guys, the engine is in. It finally is in the engine bay of the DeLorean and it fits so perfect. I'm pretty sure that we got about an inch and a half to two inches on the firewall forward to that transmission modification. I'm happy about that. I want to take some measurements probably eventually on the wide body car and make sure that we're at the same point. Based on the bar that actually goes across here, we have a full like two inches on the actual um, crossbar. So we're not going to have to cut up the back of the fiberglass on the DeLorean bumper or anything like that. The six gonna fit in there like factory, so that's exactly what I wanted to do. We went ahead and put on the ITB throttle body uh, manifolds, just so you can kind of get an idea as to what it's gonna look like. So on the next episode, we're gonna be doing motor mounts, transmission mounts, we'll be putting throttle bodies on, mocking up our intake system, and start wrapping our mind around the exhaust system we want to do on this thing, because we want to do all titanium plus the stainless steel long tube headers. We're also going to be doing um, brushed aluminum paneling inside the engine bay, just like in the wide body car, and doing some more reinforcements to the back chassis. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing, and make sure you hit your notification bell because this thing is going to be going very fast very soon. We'll see you later.